So in my little beginner's guide to how to run Doom with custom maps, record demos, I mentioned this launcher that I wrote just so I wouldn't have to keep writing batch files. So in this video, I'll show you where to get that, how to install it, and how to use it. It really couldn't be any easier, that's the point. But I just want to say up front, it's missing some key features on purpose just to keep the user interface as simple as possible. And it's compatible with PR Boom Plus and all of its forks. I'm just hoping this lowers the barrier to entry for the newest players entering the game. So I'll put a link in the description, but you'll just have to go to my itch page uh, where I have my minimalist Doom launcher. Uh, and here you can read up on uh, what sucks about this and what's pretty cool about it. This is totally free, absolutely free. I even deactivated the option to give donations for it. You can't give me money for this even if you wanted to. Go to hell. It's crappy and doesn't do much. No one should be paying any money for this. Uh, so scroll down to the bottom, hit download. There's no point in following me. I don't do much on itch anymore. Uh, so that's in my download. So I'm going to extract this as always. And then all you have to do is take this uh, EXE and put it anywhere you'd like. But whenever you record demos, they will go to whatever directory this EXE is in. So don't just drop it on your desktop because it'll fill up with demo files in no time. And it also creates its own little config file to save your settings. Uh, so I'm just going to pop that uh, in the Doom Baby folder that I made in that tutorial. And here is Windows saying, hey, I don't know what this is. Why would it? No one knows who I am. And then all you want to do is uh, tell it where to find your WADs. So I'm going to go in the WAD directory here. So right now all our WADs are just in this Doom Baby folder. So I'm going to stop right there. Just hit OK. There's all our WADs. It automatically detects your IWADs versus your PWADs. Keeps them separate. And then you just need to choose which source port you'd like to play on. Uh, so here in Doom Baby, I've got dsdadoom.exe. So we'll use that one. And then you're already good to go. So if I wanted to play Doom 2 with Sunlust right now, I happen to know Sunlust is comp level 9, then I would just play Doom. And there it is. It's that easy. If I don't want to play with any PWADs, I can just hit deselect down here. And now I can just play Doom 2. Although I should have had comp level 2 for Doom 2. And then I put in these nice little options. I feel like these are probably the most common additional uh, launch arguments that people would use. So I just added some in here. There's no music, obviously, uh, if you want to mute the game as you load in. No monsters, obviously. We'll get rid of all the monsters in the maps. I use that to take screenshots for my thumbnails. Checking fast will make all the monsters and projectiles move like they do in nightmare mode. Uh, similarly, respawn will have monsters respawn like they do in nightmare mode. For solo net, some mappers will add extra monsters that spawn when the game detects that you're playing co-op online. Clicking solo net will just force all those extra monsters, weapons, items to spawn even though you're playing alone. And also when you die, you'll respawn just like you would if you were playing a co-op survival game online. If you aren't familiar with short ticks, when you record a demo file, your turn resolution is reduced. So normally you can turn, you know, really, really smoothly when you're playing Doom. But back in the 90s, when they needed a way for these demo files to be shared, they had to be really, really compact. So they limited the number of values that your turn radius could be saved as to fit in a byte. So that's just 256 values. So what you'll notice when you're recording a demo is that you have to move your mouse a little bit more to turn just that tiny bit. It feels weird and it's tough to get used to. So what some players do is they'll turn on short ticks all the time so that the game always feels like it does when they're playing a demo. And then it doesn't feel gross when you go to finally record a demo, and then you're like, why am I so bad at the game? And then, of course, if I wanted to record a demo for Sunlust, let's say, I would just come down here, click Record Demo, and then here I just type what I want to call it. So let's call this Sunlust Demo, uh, Comp Level 9, and then let's skip to let's skip to UV, skip to Map 5, Play Doom. Here's my Map 5 demo. Run around, probably die instantly. You know, that looks pretty good. And then you'll see that in this folder here, there's going to be a sunlustdemo.lmp. And then if I want to watch back demos, I just go up here to demo mode. Click this button, and now the launcher is going to play demos only. So I'll need to choose my demo directory because I haven't yet. Let's open that up. That's also all in Doom Baby. They're all in the same folder right now. Here's my demos. So now I could watch my sunlust demo with sunlust by hitting Play Doom. And here's our demo. What's nice about this is every time you hit Play Doom, it saves your last session. 
So if I close this up and then open it again, oops, didn't need to close that, open the launcher again, it remembers that I was watching this Sunless demo with Doom 2, and it remembers my source port, my WAD directory, my demo directory. You only have to set that stuff up once. But another thing that's great about this is it's really easy to just organize your stuff. So I'm going to go in my hypothetical Doom folder, and I'm going to make a folder called WADs. I'm going to make a folder called Demos, and I'm going to make a folder called Source Ports. And in Source Ports, the only one I have is DSDA, so I'll just make a DSDA source port. And then I won't need this bat file anymore. I'm going to take my demos and put them in my demos folder. I'm going to take my wads and I'm going to put those in my wads folder. And then everything else here came with the source port. So I'm going to pop that in the source port folder and then I'll go in there and I'll move all that into DSDA. Oops, I forgot to put the auto load folder and the DSDA doom folder in there. Those definitely belong to the source port. That's my bad. And then since I moved everything, I'm just going to delete this config file, right? And relaunch the launcher. And I'll just tell it where I moved all that stuff to. So source ports now is in that folder. My wad directory is now Doom Baby wads. And in demo mode, my demo directory is now Doom Baby demos. And it'll still be able to find everything. So I can play Doom 2, Sunlust, watch my Sunlust demo. And there it is. So super easy, really bare bones. It really doesn't do much at all. I wrote it just for myself and my simple tastes. And then I shared it with a few people I know in the Doom community. And then I went back and forth for a couple months on, do I just, you know, post this somewhere for anyone that can use it? So I don't imagine many people will be interested in this uh, compared to other better launchers. But if you are, it's available, it's free, give it a try. Uh, if you'd like, you can pop a shortcut on the desktop. So right click, create shortcut, drop that there, call this whatever you want. Maybe just call it uh, Yeehaw. There you go. And then that'll launch the launcher for you. But if you do run into any weird behavior, any kind of bugs, uh, you can just go back to that itch page and drop a comment and I'll get on that as soon as possible. Make sure it's working nice for everybody. All right. Thanks.